Thank you for coming to check us out again here today at New York Coternix. Today we're going to be doing an update on the transfer. When I got some new quail a couple of weeks ago, I picked them up from Niagara Falls. I didn't quarantine them and it looks like it was a success even though we failed to quarantine them. So let's take a look and see how everybody's doing. As you can see, we have smaller birds in there, slightly bigger birds. Those are the birds that I just added in today from the brooder. Now in here you get a good sense of what's going on. I have birds that I just brought in from the brooder mixed in with almost full size birds. Everybody seems to be pretty healthy. So far so good. And then we have down below where the bigger birds are. They seem to be getting along fine and everybody's doing well in here. I uh, took everybody out, checked them individually. Made sure everybody was free of any sort of infestation. That everyone's eyes was doing fine. Look at this one all itchy and whatnot. But we did call a couple of the roosters that were out here making noise. When I say a couple, I mean 12 to be exact. It seems like the girls are a lot happier. They're laying more eggs. We'll be coming out to collect those later. So for now, the smaller birds up top are still eating the starter feed, 24%. And the birds down below are on a grower finisher diet. Again, it's just a quick update just to show you how everybody's doing. The girls are healing pretty nicely from their wounds. All the blood that was splashed around and whatnot. Well, a lot of them still have their bald spots, but they don't seem to be infected or anything like that. So all in all, the birds seem to be pretty happy. Just don't make the same mistake I did. Make sure you take the precaution, the necessary precautions. Quarantine any new birds before you add them to an already existing flock because you do run the chance of infesting a whole flock if you know the new birds happen to have some sort of respiratory illness or you know something like that. Anything communicable, communicable. If they have any sort of communicable diseases happening with them, they can ruin the whole flock and you don't want that to happen. So please don't do what I do make sure to exercise caution. I'll keep you updated on this. Thank you again for coming to check us out at New York Eternix. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave those below. Also leave a like for the video and feel free to subscribe for more. We'll always be coming back with more videos. Thank you again from New York Eternix.